Yeah, John. So every time we come to the range, bro, I get one of these texts from my boys talking about, are you guys out shooting those assault weapons again? What is what people in assault rifles say? AR. AR-15 AR. stands for Armalite Rifle, the company that introduced it in the 1950s, designed by Eugene Stoner, one of their lead designers. They so designed the Colt in the 1960s, a beautifully made weapon. Thanks Going for that on. wealth of information, but the point is, it all comes down to the fact that it looks like a scary military weapon. They think it's full auto. They think this yeah, you can only kill it's people not. with and it. I get why people may say it looks yeah, yeah. like a military style yeah, weapon, like yeah, the M16. Yeah. But looks, John, this it, is it looks no badass, different actually. than a, a legal civilian yeah. semi-automatic weapon, just like a pistol. Yeah. No difference. Yeah, I mean you can hunt, competition shooting, home defense, mm -hmm. multiple applications. Yeah. But the thing is, with all the misnomers about this rifle, I think we need to unpack. I think we need to talk to an expert and really just kind of like lay it all out. Yeah, but can I finish? Uh, only if you promise it's going to make you better. That's why I'm here. But we've been here for like an hour. John, let's go. Okay, let's thanks. go, man. Derek, take us through this, man. We're here to talk ARs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, so we grabbed a bunch of different versions of kind of the same thing. So they're all AR-15s, but we want to touch bases on all the different kinds that yeah. there are. No, and Derek, absolutely. And when I look at this, this reminds me, John, of like the original almost, right? So you think about the 1950s, the Armalite, and it's almost like we're moving up to modern current day. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You got the A1 and then you got the, the M16, the A2 lookalike, almost like the M4. We have something old school, kind of like what he was probably issued in the Marine yeah. Corps. Yeah. Next level up is going to be the next iteration of that. So collapsible stock and then some hand guards up front that are easily changed. And then now you have your basic upgrades, yeah. you know, just drop in Magpul furniture. And then you start getting into companies that actually make proprietary systems like Daniel Defense with their upgraded rails. Mm -hmm. Crazy wow. stuff from sailing it. I, I mean, this, this gray yeah, is yeah, an yeah. amazing rifle where everything is customizable. And then you have that crazy Cerakote job, which a lot of people are doing now that's very popular. So mm -hmm. you can kind of do a little bit of everything, whether it's home defense, competition, it's, it's great what you can do and so, with these and rifles. So, and so when you think about something like this, this may be what the beginner would probably yeah, purchase, right? exactly. Because they're just getting into AR. Yeah, so exactly. So your basic introduction AR-15, something where someone's just gonna go to the range on the weekends, mm -hmm. it's not gonna be for competition shoot or anything. Right. That is a great spot to start. And then if you wanna start upgrading it, and you wanna do the right. little things, right. you can upgrade the hand guards. You can do a stock or a grip or a trigger. Right. And so that's when you look at things like Magpul, right? Exactly, exactly. Right. So then you have your Magpul furniture, and then it has an EOTech, so if you want to get into red dots or scopes or magnified optics. And a lot of this stuff is preferential to the shooter and correct. the application, Yeah, correct. correct. Yeah. A lot of it, it's all personal preference. For myself, really, it's kind of like Legos for adults. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah. you know what I mean, everyone <laughs> had Legos, Legos growing up, it really is. and, it really and is. you love just modifying them and changing them mm -hmm. and, and kind of making your own out of it. And mm -hmm. that's what AR-15s are to a lot of Americans, is something that you can make your own out of it. You know what's interesting when you think about it? When this thing first came out and became uh, like a, a mass pr produced weapon, it wasn't very popular. Right, it was not right. popular at all, and it mm -hmm. wasn't really until like the 80s, mid 80s, where people really start to catch on and like, well, wait a minute here. The AR-15 thing is kind of cool, and now you have millions of them owned by everyday Americans who just like to sp have fun mm -hmm. at the range. Folks actually hunt with them. Correct. Yeah. And some people mm -hmm. like them for you know competitive purposes. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, they're accurate and easy to use. No, that's so, that, right. so at the end of the day, when you combine those two things, because usually when somebody thinks firearms and they think about the accuracy of a firearm, they mm -hmm. think it's very difficult, something right. that yeah. they can't manage. Yeah. But when you pick up an AR-15, it's really not as hard to manage as you would think. So let's talk a little bit about the trigger function and what it means between semi and full auto. Yeah, because this is, this, I gotta be honest, this is completely new to me. I've okay. never shot anything, Derek, like this. Yeah. Either full auto or, or, um, or semi, but nothing like this. So this is something that's kind of different. Right, right, right. Yeah, so one of the big things is um, 
internally, there's a lot of extra parts when it comes to three round burst or full auto. So there's that side of things. But I mean, as far as accuracy and fun, they're not gonna be as accurate as your semi-auto. Right. Yeah. Uh, the semi-autos, what that is, is when you pull the trigger straight to the rear, one round goes off. Just like you have a to, pistol. Just like yeah. a pistol. You have to yeah. let all the way off the trigger to then pull it to the rear again. Right. A lot of people think you can walk into a gun shop and buy a full auto. Mm -hmm. That's a huge misconception. Yeah. Right. Unless you have a special license from the ATF, you can't get a brand new full auto. That's not a thing that you can actually do. To be honest, these are people who are willing to put in some money yeah. buying these yeah. things. Yeah. You're, Instead you're, of buying a brand new truck, you buy a full auto AR. Because you're looking at $20,000? I, I mean, that's, and, that's and, entry and, level. And, that's and, entry right. level. Like, it's like America though, right? Yeah. There's a little bit of everything in America. Correct. There's a little bit Correct. of everything in the AR, and this is, this is America. It doesn't get any more American than apple pie when I think about the AR. Yeah. All right, so Derek, you think about competitive shooting, and you look at something like this, and it's like, man, I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's really cool. And you know, the biggest thing is we do run matches here on a weekly basis. So mm. we have a lot of equipment here. So, uh -oh. I mean, if you guys want to see who the better shot is, uh -oh. I'm not trying to point any fingers, uh -oh. but. Always, listen, Shermichael I shot me last time yep. when we did the pistol. Yep. This is true. So this okay. is my bread and butter. Let's get it. Back. All right, well, we can see what actually happens. The AR-15, developed in the 1950s by Armalite and designed by Eugene Stoner, is one of the most recognizable and popular weapons of all time. From home defense, hunting, and competitive shooting, its versatility makes it a must-have for every shooter from the novice to the experienced. It's both practical and reliable, easily customizable, easy to build, and easy to shoot. But many people don't understand it. It's time to break the myths about this beloved weapon. All right, John, they look the same. They are twins from the same mama. But not the same dad. <laughs> what I got here is their standard semi-automatic AR-15 mm -hmm. that you can get at any gun shop around the United States. Right, and what I have here is an M4 variant that is full auto. Mm, Talk mm, about mm. two different personalities. Oh, 100%, and we're gonna show them what it's about. We are, so let's see who can shoot the fastest, though. Well, that's not fair. Why not? Because you're automatically gonna shoot fast auto. Oh, I'll try. I'll try. Right. I don't mind. Here we go then. Let's do it. So what I'm going to demonstrate right now is semi-automatic. <laughs> Weapon off safe. One trigger pull. One shot. One shot. One shot. That's the best you can do? I mean, no. I mean, I was like an old person. Okay. Back up. You know, I can see how they are twins, same mama, different daddy. Mm -hmm. Let's pick up this M4 variant. It's on safety. Let's see what this baby can do. Full oh, auto. I gotta back up. I know I do. Woo! All right, take a safety off. We're gonna get in a very aggressive stance so that we can take in some of this recoil. Let's go have some fun, baby. <laughs> Um, baby, what do you got to say, John? I want to do it. Man, this sucker is. Sweet. Am I up next or but what? You notice the difference, though, right? Between oh, absolutely. For auto, where, where you just pull the trigger, you have that continuous firing. One hundred percent. And when you have the semi-auto, it's not the same. No, not the same at all. And I hope you guys really saw the difference here, so you can know the difference between semi-automatic. Full auto. Because people confuse the two all the time. Mm -hmm. Again, semi-auto, every time you pull that trigger, you gotta release it. One trigger to fire pull, again. one round comes out. Exactly, with, with full auto, you just pull the trigger one time and you're gonna have continuous firing over and over and over again until that magazine is out. Absolutely. All right, man, well, I had a lot of fun with mine. Uh, well, I'm about to have a lot of fun with yours. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep my No! Near, near and dear to my heart. Nah, you don't like this thing, let's go. <laughs> all right, let's go then.
Hey guys, I just wanted to take a quick second to let you know that the Guns Out store is open for business. Go to GunsOutTV.com, click the shop button, and check out all the cool gear that we got for you guys. Whether you're just a Guns Out supporter, a straight shooter, or just need to shoot straighter, we have something for everybody. So go check it out. Let's go. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. The people means all people. Arms means all arms. Shall not be infringed means no compromise. We are gun owners of America. All right, guys, so last time you were here, we had a little pistol competition, and maybe someone outshot the other person. I'm not gonna point any fingers, but... Uh, <laughs> Listen, so I give him I'll his take props. A I give him his props, he did it, he did it. He did, he did. He so did. this time we set up a little course of fire uh, that you're gonna run with some of the rifles. Uh, you're gonna start at the first set of barrels, engaging the first target with three rounds to the second set. Yep. And once you read the second set, you're gonna turn right, and move laterally to the third set of barrels engaging the second target. So the big thing is here to stay safe. Uh, we're gonna be doing moving and shooting, but let's see who uh, is gonna be the best shot when it comes to rifles. I mean, I don't know, Derek. I think John's gonna kick my butt on this one. I've never done an exercise like this. He's a former Marine. Hey, listen, it's been a long time a since long I've done time, this. A long time, but I've had zero time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you did really well with the pistol. Yeah, yeah, Handled that full auto great, so. Uh, I don't know. I think it's uh, you got a fair shot. Don't right. say he's so short. That's why I wore the Killmonger jacket. I need that extra juice, okay? Right, well, extra see, juice. John. All right, well, let's get started and uh, see how you guys do. All right, All right. Let's, go. let's go. So we just went over how we're gonna do the course of fire today. So if you're ready, load your firearm and then uh, we'll get going. All right. You yep. ready? All right. So, shooter, you're ready. Ready. Stand by. All right, shoot if you're done. Unload and show clear. Awesome. All right, 518. So uh, let's see what your rifle can do. So shoot if you understand the course fire, you can load and make ready. All right. Woo. Sure you ready? You ready. Stand by. Awesome. Time, 695. Did pretty good. Oh, I'm not happy with that. Right, we got to do that time? again. Right, of course. Peter, you ready? Ready. Understand the course fire, go ahead and load and make ready. All right, let's do this, baby. Awesome. Okay, so face down range. All right. All right. Sure you understand the course fire? Yep. Are you ready? I'm ready. Stand by. All right, safety on. Time, 3 1 1. Shoo! Bingo! Yeah, that's a, safety. That's a tad bit faster. Tad bit. Though. Tad bit. Hey. <laughs> hey, listen. I'm clear. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no. Hey, give me this. I could do <laughs> okay. that better, okay? 
Shooter, are you ready? Ready! Ah, uh, stand by. Show clear. All right, so what's my time? Uh, hey, come on, come on, what's the time? Two, uh, two ninety nine. I told you. Yes, you beat him. Sure, Michael, where you at, Sure, Michael? Yes. Where you at? Two. Where was it again? Two o nine. Exactly. Ninety nine. Told you with your gun. Really? Ah. Uh, really? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I, I, So when you took that first step and that round came out, we was like, wait. No, it was it, it was different, right? It's different. Yeah, 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 no, it's, it's totally different. different. But it will ruin stationary shooting forever for you. Oh, I believe it. You oh, get that bug, that, that bug bites you, I mean, and it's, and it's no, right. accurate and the, with the speed. Oh, my God. Yeah. No, oh. think, think about it. When you met me, I was straight marksmanship. You was like, you're going to be a bullseye shooter, right? Yeah. And now what, what am I obsessed with now? What am I obsessed with? Yeah, draw kind of draw from holster. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. No. So you get that bug, and sometimes it's, it's USPSA, sometimes it's IDPA, but... You get the bug of moving and shooting, and then now you want to start joining outdoor ranges, and now you're like, okay, well, how can I get this set up better with like a different Safari Land holster or maybe a plate carrier? And you start training for what your passion is. And that's mm -hmm. the cool thing about AR-15s is no matter what your passion is, there's something that fills into that notch. Right. Absolutely. Listen, man, this was great. Move, I'm so glad we Dude, came to see you as anytime, you anytime. Thank you you guys are welcome. Kelvin, at any time, whether it's all my right. stunt Set double. <laughs> stunt. I appreciate you, brother. We're just shooting at our range. You guys are always welcome. Thanks, appreciate guys. it, man. Appreciate it. No problem. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a quick second to let you know that the Guns Out store is open for business. Go to GunsOutTV.com, click the shop button, and check out all the cool gear that we got for you guys. Whether you're just a Guns Out supporter, a straight shooter, or just need to shoot straighter, we have something for everybody. So go check it out. Let's go. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. The people means all people. Arms means all arms. Shall not be infringed means no compromise. We are gun owners of America. This is it, man. This is it. And you know, this is the part of the day that I hate because we got to leave. Yeah, I know. But you know, the sale in arms for me, when I think about competitive shooting, I like the build. I like the quality. This is something, when I want to go and kick ass, this is what I'm going to bring. This is me. RoboCop. It is. And I, I mean, feel like RoboCop. That's my, my inner me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you know what? For me, I, I mean, this speaks to me. You already know how I get down. Yeah. No. With the weapons and the, the painting and, and the customization. That. I mean, you got the Spartan mag. Well, come on, Spartan. Yeah, but it doesn't get rugged, any harder than that. The rugged look. No, I get it, bro. Like this that. is dope. I mean, this is Ed 209. I'm, right. you know, That's I see, I like you know what I'm saying? It. But at the end of the day, full customization. Yeah, you can't you. confuse this for anybody else but me. No, you me. can. And look, I'm not going to lie. If I were to see this, I'm definitely coming up to you saying, what the hell is this? Exactly. This looks like something you no, wouldn't it's see cool. anywhere else. It's cool. But both of these are cool. But at the end of the day, what what this speaks to is the fun right. that lies within this AR-15. And that's what I think so many people miss and all the misconceptions. Yeah. When you think about this beautiful weapon yeah. built in the 1950s, American made, mm -hmm. one of the most popular weapons probably in the history of firearms. Right. Why wouldn't you love this thing? I don't know, because you're afraid. And you don't have to be afraid. Because that is why the AR-15 exists. Not the assault rifle. Armalite, made in the 1950s right here in the great USA. Listen, we like diversity, we like options. You don't get much more options than that. You surely don't because you can use it for hunting, protecting your family, competitive shooting, or maybe you're a collector and customize it just like you, John. Listen, man, American is apple pie. It surely is. And one thing is great about this country, no one gets to tell 
you a weapon you get to choose to protect yourself, your family, and keep and preserve your freedom and your liberty. So at the end of the day, let's go and get some.